Hey kids, remember, everything you're about to learn is real! Look at all the wonders that a single class can find. They decide to shut their mouths and open up their minds. Sex and shit and crime and pain, all this crap will be explained. And while we're at it, let's try to have some fun. I'm talking about what? Bob, Bob, one on one. Come and see the worst of history. One, Bob, Bob. I programmed this robot to feel love, but only unrequited love. She's a fraud. Huh? The school has no record of Professor Foxtrot. Nothing. Damn. For real? Good investigating, Mindy. The administration has no idea I'm here. And let's keep it that way. But you said you were a professor. You think this high school has professors? You don't even have whiteboards. You just have this rectangle of black mold. So why are you here? It seemed like fun! This is detention! It isn't fun! Whatever! She'll be gone once I tell Principal Mitsak. You don't have to do that! It was just a little fib! Nothing compared to some of the most outrageous hoaxes and scams in history! Oh, no, no, no. We're done with these little lessons. What? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Alone again. It's England in the early 1700s. God fucking damn it! We're about to meet the first person to come here from Formosa. What today we call Taiwan. Hi there, I'm George Salmanazar. Native Formosan. Dude's whiter than Mike Pence in a blizzard. He's not from Taiwan. He's from, like, Milwaukee or some shit. Well, sure I am. I was kidnapped by unscrupulous Catholic missionaries, but I escaped here to the welcoming arms of you lovely Anglicans. Hmm. I am Anglican. And I am lovely. And Catholics are unscrupulous. Sounds like he's the real deal. He's not, but hundreds were fooled. Partly because Salmanazar never broke character. He invented an entire fake language and could speak it fluently. As they say in my country, Amy Porneo Dan Chin Orneo oh. He adopted fake Taiwanese customs like sleeping in a chair. <laughs> and eating his meat raw. Steak a la Formosa. He even published a book on the history, geography, and culture of Taiwan. Not a single word of which was remotely true. Things like... In Formosa, the capital city is Sternetza, which is the home of Emperor Marianne Danu and High Priest Gnatoi Bonzo. Yes, those sound real. Mm. Gnatoi Bonzo commands us to kill 18,000 young boys every year and grill their hearts. A sustainable number, yes. Yes. A good, reasonable number. People actually believed this. For many years, he was something of a celebrity and even gave lectures to academic societies. In Formosa, the men are naked all the time, except for a gold plate they hang over their schlongs. They have many wives, and if any cheats on them, he's allowed to eat her. <laughs> Guys, are you hearing this? Taiwan sounds crazy. But he's obviously not Asian. How did he get away with this? Because he had an explanation for everything. Why he mistakenly said Formosa was a province of Japan and not China. Oh, now you're thinking of a different Formosa. Why he was white. Well, the upper class lives underground. Next question. Why people who had been to Formosa contradicted him. All oh, are lying, unscrupulous Catholic missionaries. No further questions, please. Have a nice day, everyone, or as we say in Formosa, eat shit. And eat shit to you. So what happened to him? After two years of this, he published a memoir confessing that his entire identity was a hoax. And then 
I'm sure he was punished for his lies. Not at all. He became a respected writer and theologian. He wrote 12 hours a day fueled by opium and punch and became friends with the writer Samuel Johnson. <laughs> opium punch. I gotta try that. And that was a man who lied to the whole country for two years. Not a harmless teacher who only wants to help nurture young minds. You showed us penguin rape. And a man shitting out gravel. And boobs. If your lies put people in danger, you can't just get away with it. Sure you can. <laughs> <laughs> It's 1822. <laughs> My name is Gregor McGregor. Welcome to Poye, a small country near Honduras. This place has everything. Fertile land, fish and game. Oh, yeah. Democratic government, a burgeoning business district, even gold in the rivers. The only thing we don't have is you. We need investors and settlers. Buy now, and I guarantee you'll make your money back. Or my name's not Gregor McGregor. <laughs> I'll take four. Wait, something's not right. Is this someone else's land? Worse, it doesn't even exist. There were no buildings or roads, no arable land. The whole region was inhospitable, untamed jungle. That makes sense. Gregor McGregor is one fake ass name. Uh, actually, that part is real. Really? Shit. McGregor just had to make the land look real to sell it. <laughs> he made fake illustrations of the scenery, fake government documents, and printed fake currency. Mm -hmm. He designed a flag and military uniform. They even composed fake Poye and ballads and had them sung in the streets of London. Poye, 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 Poye. <laughs> that sounds like so much work. It paid off. He sold land to hundreds, got a 2,000 pound loan, and traded Poye and bonds worth billions in today's money. He even convinced seven ships worth of people to settle the land while he stayed safely back home. Thanks for visiting. Eat shit. He seems nice. The settlers thought so too. McGregor was so charismatic and his lies so enormous that even after they arrived, they refused to believe that they had been tricked. Cool, 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 cool. I'm sure there's an explanation. Definitely. Then the captain of the ship left without telling anyone. Cool, 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 cool. cool, cool. cool. Then came the rainy season. People caught malaria and yellow fever. <laughs> cool. One person shot himself in despair. <laughs> cool. After six months, someone from British Honduras arrived and told them that Poye didn't exist. Cool. 250 people left for Poye. At least 180 died. To this day, the region is uninhabited wilderness. Well, what happened to McGregor? Nothing. The survivors blamed the expedition leaders and publicists. McGregor was tried for fraud, but acquitted. He lived comfortably in Venezuela for the rest of his life. Bummer. See, even if your lie harms people, you don't need to be punished. He should have been punished, and you should be too. Remember that hyena birth? Your lie meant we had to see disgusting horror. You thought that was disgusting. <laughs> Wait till you see what's next. <laughs> No! Ooh, we're back in England! September of 1726, and this is Mary Toff. Ah! Should we come back later? Ah! We should come back later. Ah! Congratulations, Mrs. Toft. You're a mother! Oh, what the, what the fuck? fuck is no! that? She's 
Mazel tov. That's my baby. I've been giving birth to rabbits. What? No, that's impossible. Oh, that's what I thought. But trust me, I'm a trained surgeon, and she is definitely telling the truth. Oh, I see what's up. These two are in cahoots. She pretends to go into labor. He uses a little sleight of hand. Boom, rabbit birth. Oh, oh it must oh. be a miracle. Mm. She's going into labor again. Step back. Yeah. I bet if this creep isn't involved, we won't see any more bunnies. <laughs> oh. Fuck. There are actually rabbits coming out of her pussy. Oh. Yes! Over several months, dozens of medical professionals watched as Mary seemed to give birth to a total of 17 rabbits and rabbit parts. <laughs> the feet of a cat <laughs> and a pig's bladder. <laughs> Oh, I wasn't expecting that one. Wow! Triplets! Come, come, children! <laughs> Mustn't get cold! Come with me! But again, that's impossible. The only way animal parts could possibly come out of her vagina is if she put... Oh! Oh, no! Huh. Ooh! It's cold! No! Oh. I have so many questions. Uh-huh. Okay, why the fuck would anyone ever do that to themselves? She thought she could make money as a sort of freak celebrity, like Octomom. You kids remember Octomom? No, not really. Okay, but why would anyone believe this story for even a second? It was thought that the things a pregnant woman saw and dreamed could affect the appearance of a child. In theory, a woman could give birth to anything. This is all so stupid. So stupid it couldn't last. While Toft was under observation, an associate was caught smuggling a rabbit into her room. I was just going to uh, eat it. Ah, uh, that doesn't prove anything. Others saw that Mary seemed to keep her legs tight together, as if trying to hold something in. <laughs> And some noted that the rabbits had dung and hay in their rectums. Maybe there's hay in my uterus. Yeah, well, nobody seems to know anything about female anatomy anyway, so why not? Yeah, no, that's right, there's hay in my pussy. It wasn't until a doctor threatened to perform experimental surgery on her that Mary finally confessed. Jesus, what happened to her? First she got sick. Turns out you can get an infection if you shove dead animals up your twat. <sighs> no! Ta-da! Mary was jailed for a few months, but was released. Since she hadn't actually broken any laws. <laughs> Ooh, this one must take after the father. <sighs> Just like I didn't break any laws. What? Well, Are you sure? I, we'll see about that. <laughs> what I did wasn't that bad compared to those people. And they were barely punished at all. Yeah, but my detention's been kind of fun. Uh, no? I don't know. It is better than sitting around doing nothing. And none of us got hurt. And boobs. Yes, exactly! Then we agree! No one needs to know I'm here! Oh! But I already do. Dr. Gamma. Fun's over, Foxtrot. It's detention, it's not fun. 